How's it going, Connor here from Training Like a Warrior, and welcome back to week three of your eight week free Total Body Warrior Transformation Program exclusive here to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me, today's session is going to be an absolute killer 40 minute lower body and glutes strength and toning session, okay? Now, for this workout, it can be performed with just your body weight, however, if you have one dumbbell, a kettlebell or literally anything you can use for resistance whether it be a backpack with some books in it something that's going to help you overload your body go for it okay so we're going to perform 10 different strength based exercises and we're going to perform three sets each exercise is going to be 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest and i really want you to focus on good and controlled reps and then for the final 10 minutes we're gonna perform another five exercises, but only for two sets, okay? As always, before we get into the workout, please be sure to leave these videos a thumbs up. Leave a comment below after you perform the workout. Let me know how you get on. Hit that subscribe button and let's smash this session. So before we get into the workout, if possible, try to have something that you can uh, lean your body up against for hip thrust, okay? Whether this be a chair, a bench, whatever it is, if you haven't got anything, you can still perform the exercise just on your ground lying back. Just something yeah, you can either sit your dumbbell on, if you haven't got a weight, it doesn't matter, and you're just gonna do your hip thrusts, okay? Now I have a towel here also just to sit around me while I'm performing the hip thrust, okay? So if you need to pause the video now, go for it. Have something that you can set yourself up against at all if you're resting any weight on your body, but if not, you can perform it on the ground, okay? It doesn't matter. The very first exercise we're gonna perform for three sets is gonna be our sumo pause deadlift. Okay, so if you're using the weight, coming down with the weight stance. One, two, up. One, two, up. Now, if you're not using anything, it doesn't matter, you can still do it with just your body weight. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer. Three sets of your sumo stance deadlift pulse squat. So let's get ready for it. Okay, there we go. So we're going with a deadlift. Keep the bike upright. Performing the pulse. Stay, keep it pushing. Every rep. A few more seconds. Good, one set, there you go. So this is a more slower pace, but we're really focusing on building strength, shape, lean muscle mass, and toning the lower body. Right, get ready to go again. Some more stance. One, two, pulse. Coming up. Feeling that one already. Come on, every rep. A few more seconds. Good work. Take a second, grab a drink if you need to, and just keep pushing with these reps. Okay, get ready to go again. Ooh. One, two, up. Keep it going, every rep. Especially once it comes to the strength training, you want to keep the form good, controlled, really feeling this in the hamstrings. Pulse makes all the difference. Good, there's three of them done. Now the next one is wide stance sumo squat. So that was just 
weight stance with a deadlift. No sumo squat, pulling the weight up, come down one, two, okay? Pulling the weight up. If you haven't got the weight, just do it with your body weight again. One, two, oh, that's a killer. That's a killer coming off. Them deadlifts. Them deadlift squats. Come on. Again, if one dumbbell is even too light for you, you can double it up. You just want to push yourself. Ah, come on. Good work. One set and then I'm done. Two to go. Okay, get ready to go again. Thanks for partner. So keep that bike upright, just keep pushing. More seconds. Good work, got one more set and then to do it. And then we're gonna move on to the hip thrust. Okay, let's just keep this momentum pushing. If it's too hard to hold the, the weight up, you can still go wide and just go like that. Okay, it doesn't matter. Keep it going, a few more seconds. Oh. Good, okay, now we're gonna move on the hip thrust. I'm just gonna use this bench, you can rest up against the chair, wherever it is. <laughs> just sit the dumbbell up. If you're using it. Okay. So just come on down. Head thrusting right up, keep a squeeze at the top. This bench is a wee bit low, but it's still enabling me to get it a decent range of motion. You can still do this on the ground if you need to. And if you're not using any weight, it doesn't matter, you can do body weight. So keep for a two second squeeze at the top. So keep it pushing. Good work. Take a second. Get ready for set number two. Get ready. Set two. Trust them right up, keep the squeeze. Say, so keep it pushing. Trust him right up with the squeeze. Let's go. Ten seconds. Good work. One more set to do. 
feeling that one. Again, if you didn't have any weight, just trust up with that. Ooh. Right, get ready for it. Ready to go again. Sitting the weight on you, trust me. Always try to look at front whenever you're performing your head thrust. Good, three sets done. Next one is just reverse lunges. Okay? So if you're using the weight, hold the dumbbell up, or the kettlebell, whatever it is, and just performing your lunging back. Feel this. Okay? Slow and controlled. That's tough coming off then, hip thrust. This is a good strength building session. Good work. Keep the pushing. Every rep. Good work team. Okay, next one is just going to be your side lunge. So you're getting that good stretch down and then again. Three sets of this. So you can hold the dumbbell any way you want. If it's awkward to hold it like that, you can hold it up above. And hold it like that if you need. Legs are burning right now.
Good work. Second set. Whew. These side lunges again. is intense, that is for sure. Keep it push. Each rep. A few more seconds. Good work, got one more set to do. Then we're gonna take a quick rest and get ready for round number two, five different exercises. Let's keep the momentum. Right team, let's go for it. Last exercise in round one. Okay team, moving on to round number two. First exercise before I set the timer is just pulse, normal squats. Holding the dumbbell like so, whatever weight you're using, coming down, one, two, up. One, two, up, okay? Let's go for 10 seconds, right now starts now. Three sets of these pulse squats. Okay, where we go? One, Two, up, one, two. Big knob on, feel out the glutes. Keep it push. Again, this can be performed with no weight. Just push yourself. Try to stay low to the ground. Set one complete, now two to go. Again, the amazing feedback from these strength based sessions. Now, this is the first proper strength based leg session that we've done, so hopefully, you enjoy this. I know I am feeling it. Right, let's go for it. One, two. Okay, so you one more set of these and then we're going back into hip thrusts, okay? So get ready for that. Okay, last set of these four squats. Go 
Come on, a few more seconds. Every rep, let's go for it. Nicely done. Hip thrust is next. Again, if you're using the bench or a chair or whatever it is, even on the ground, it doesn't matter as long as we get these grabs in. Okay, let's go for it. Trust them right up. Keep that two second hold. Good work. Just got to rest here. Ready right for set number two. Feeling this one. Okay, get ready to go. Just back up. More seconds, let's go. Good, one more set. Feel this one. This is a proper strength based session for the legs. Right, get ready to go again, last set of these. Right down and come it up. So keep it pushing. Okay, we're going to go back into reverse lunges again because it was so effective the first set. Okay, so we're just going to lunge back one leg, lunge back on our leg. Set every rep. Keep digging. Good. Let's keep this momentum. Okay, get ready for the second set. These lunges always pick it out me. Keep 
few more seconds. Come on. Right, we'll go one more set. I'll grab a drink. One more set of these. Right, last set of them. More seconds on the clock. Let's keep it pushing. This is brutal. Mm. Oh, brilliant work. Right, next one is frog pumps, okay? So what I want you to do is lie down, but bring both your knees together and you're just thrusting up like that, okay? I'm gonna use the weight at the top, and let's just go for it. Oh. Right, so he's digging in like that, and going up, if you have the weight, go for it, if not, go body weight. So digging in together, thrusting up. Just do that one. Keep it going. Trust him right up. Nicely done. That is a killer for the glutes. Okay. Get ready to go again. Second set of these. More seconds, come on. Okay, last set of these frog pumps. And then we're gonna move on to the last exercise of this round. Right, ready, go again. Staying low and you're just walking side to side. Now this stage of the session is gonna to be tough. This is where it counts. Right, so we crab walk, staying low to the ground and just walk, keeping that constant tension. Of course, if you want to hold a weight, go for it, but my legs are trembling at this point. You also feel this one in the glutes and the hamstrings. So keep it going. Ah, 
Stay low. Keep digging. A oh, few seconds. Nice. Okay, get ready to go again. We have an R2 sets and then goes to show you how effective body weight training is also, especially whenever you combine it together. Right, ready to go? Stand low. Every rep, try to get as low down to the ground as possible. Keep the back upright. Oh, that's a burner. Come on, a few seconds. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> oh, one more. Then we're gonna grab a quick drink and then we're gonna do five different exercises, two sets for the 10 minute finisher. Okay, we're nearly there. Right. The lower you can go, the more effective. Right, come on, a few more seconds. You see me struggling through this here. So it's all about real, raw, hard work, results. Let's go. I, I'm burning right now. Five seconds. Ah. Brilliant work team, round number two complete. Quick drink and get ready for the final round. Okay team, the final round, it's only going to last 10 minutes, 5 exercises, 2 sets each. The first one before I set the timer. Okay, we're doing a close squat and then walk out wide. Okay, close into the wide. We're doing 2 sets in total, then we're going to move on. Okay? Good, one down, two to go. Sorry, one down, one to go. I'm only doing two sets of this. Okay, get ready to go again. 20 seconds of rest, just flies. Alright, let's go for it. In. going to be pulse lunge, right? So if you're using a weight, hold the weight on the opposite arm that you're lunging with, or the opposite side. So say you're going your left arm, you go lunge back, pulse, and keep doing that for one set, and then you're going to switch for the next one, okay? 
So I'm gonna hold the weight in my left hand and I'm launching back on my right and I'll do the pulse. Okay? I'm gonna do a set of this and then I'm gonna switch and then we'll repeat. So it'll be four times in total. You're gonna do this. If you haven't got the weight, it doesn't matter. Do a body weight. Or if the weight that you're using doesn't enable you to use or hold it in one arm, hold it with both arms and just run the back. Okay? You know what I mean? I can hold that dumbbell with both hands if I need it to. As long as you're lunging back and pulsing. Good. Now we're going to switch leg, switch arm with the weight. Good, ready to switch now. Good work team, we're nearly there. Now we're two rounds of this one. Okay, so, alright, you did it again. Keep it going. Still doing the pulses. Nicely done, frog pumps is next for two sets. Okay, so really that was two exercises there we just done. And it's four sets. Right? These frog pumps are next. For some reason, if the frog pump's awkward, you can just do your hip thrust again from this position. Okay? But if you're bringing your heels together, just pump it up. You should really feel that. Nicely done, one more set of this and then one more exercise and that is our 40 minute strength building leg workout complete. Okay. Yeah, that's 
keep it pumping up there. Right team, this is it, the finish line, right? Now, if you're using the weight, all I want you to do is constant half reps, wee pulses. Do not come up fully, just constant tension on the hamstrings. If you're not using any weight, you can do the same thing, or wee mini bunny hops, right? Yeah, let's go for it. Constant tension, just staying low. Wee pulses. You should really feel that one. My legs are burning. Keep going. If you haven't got the weight, do uh, your bunny hops. Come up slightly off the ground. Just keep tension. Ah, come on, 10 seconds. Last one. Again, you can do bunny hops if you haven't got the weight. I think this is the hardest session yet of the Warrior 8 Challenge. I know a lot of you find high intensity stuff, but this is brutal, but extremely effective. Right, this is it, finish line. Come on. Pulse it out. Constant tension. Do the bunny hops if you need to. This is as real as it gets. Me pushing through this session with you. You see me struggle. It's real, it's raw. Train like a warrior is all about. Bringing these workouts to the next level. Keep that tension. My legs are burning. If you're doing the bunny hops, keep it going. 10 seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, there it is, team. There it is, your absolute killer. 40 minute leg workout complete. I just want to say a big well done, because that right there was the toughest session yet. And as I said, that is what Train Like a Warrior is all about. Team, please be sure to leave these videos a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you got on with this absolute killer session. I would love to know. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so we can get more people in on these workouts and really grow this channel. The amount of work I'm putting in here for free to really help people at this moment in time. I would appreciate it if we can take this channel to the next level and really help as many people as possible. Also, share these workouts with your mates. Challenging, this is an absolute killer. People who are big into weight training, put them through this session and they will soon realize the power of these types of workouts. And also, be sure to tag me on your Instagram stories, okay? I absolutely love to see who's working out alongside with me. Keep up the hard work, and I'll see you in the next one.